Nice! Imagine a romantic encounter with a Springfield XDM and an FNS handgun. What do you suppose you would see? Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a TSIS Zagana PX9. Budget handgun that looks like an XD model. You look at the way the grip meets the frame with the upper. You take a look at that and say, why, that's an XD handgun. Clearly it is, but it's not. And then you look at the way this slide contours down, those slide cuts, and we look at the FN slide cuts, pretty identical there. And so this is like the offspring of those two handguns. And I picked this up and I got it for a budget price. It's certainly a budget handgun. There's no doubt about that. And it has even dropped because they came out with a Gen 2 model that I'm not seeing that great of a difference. Some, some heavier stippling on the grip, a couple other accentuated features. But overall, the PX9 is a pretty nice handgun for a fair price. You're looking at between $300 and $330 for the Zagana PX9. It's a full-size handgun, 4.5 inch barrel and magazines that carry 18 rounds. Big time bonus, three 18 round magazines. So I think some of these other manufacturers should take notice. You know, people complain about the Turkish made guns, but they sure give you a lot in the case. Three 18 round mags, uh, back straps, a makeshift holster that's it's not that great but it'll get you through you could carry right out of the case and then go get yourself something better but they they offer that and and those are nice things to have especially those magazines i mentioned the grip smooth very smooth the gen 2 a little more textured not not a bad back strap there of course a full grip on the gun it has a full rail there for any accessories front serrations already mentioned four and a half inch barrel definitely full size black serrated adjustable rear sight front uh, black no dot pinned in so it's it offers quite a bit for like 300 bucks you can see there it has an ambidextrous thumb safety once engaged okay you could see that it will lock the slide and the trigger and and, and be control there drop that and you're good to go let's talk about the trigger i am measuring five and a half pounds it also has a striker fire indicator there very small okay you could feel it but i'm measuring a five and a half pound trigger and reset right there i love full-size guns i always have I love this when I first took it out. I thought it shot very nice. I did have a couple stove pipes right out of the case. Maybe the, the second or third mag had a couple stove pipes. Outside of that, it's performed well, which is not too uncommon with a new gun to have an issue here or there. But I did, did like the way this shot. I expected to, but you never know. And it was basically what I hoped for with some of my other large full-size handguns you know something that could be reliable something that is accurate and something that builds confidence now here we have a dual recoil spring all steel guide rod there's that upper and then of course a polymer uh, frame now if you look here those are some heavy duty frame rails so they didn't they didn't chip out on this you know they added three mags and they have steel sights and even that little holster and created a pretty nice handgun now i mentioned they have a gen 2 model i you know i, I took a look at it i studied it i was trying to see the differences i didn't come up with much uh in terms of how it differs i know one has a, a four inch barrel heavier texturing a little different look and and contour with the thumb safety but overall it was essentially the same thing but here it is part of the budget series see right there zagana px9 made by tesis not tesis tesis that's the correct way to say it and i think 
they did a pretty good job for a budget price. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.